all right guys welcome back to the channel if you're new my name is bobby guys today a little public service announcement if you will in the description box you can find my amazon link if you want to support bobby's perspective this would be highly appreciated it doesn't cost you anything guys i just get a small commission if you go through my portal you can buy whatever you want to buy and i get a small cut of that so therefore it doesn't cost you anything it is an easy way to support bobby's perspective thank you very much enough commercials guys today's video topic is how my mind state was as a vegan was because i'm not vegan any longer if you've been following this channel this is old news for you if you're new to the channel let me quickly explain that my health failed on a vegan diet after four years but the question is why did i stuck with the vegan diet for four years right even though my health was failing pretty much after one and a half years i still stuck to the diet why was that the quick answer is of course it was ideology of course it was a dogmatic belief system which was that belief system you might ask guys when i was a vegan i saw intrinsic evil in this creation and in many ways i still do when i saw nature i saw something dirty no matter if it was the soil or the guts of an animal the blood when i was a kid i associated nature with danger and dirty and evil that's what i truly saw every time i would go to the village and i would see my uncle slaughter i would see the mud the filth the shit and then the killed animal i felt vulnerable i felt as if i didn't fit into that scenario i thought we humans we try to escape that and in many ways i'm still of that same conviction i looked at nature and i saw that we are really not adapted to it even though we evolved from it maybe maybe not but if you look at nature we are totally different from any other animal from any other beast it is the truth you cannot deny it if you see a tiger or a lion they seem perfectly adapted to their environment we on the other hand try to escape it from the get-go even with the invention of fire everything that we do is an escape from nature we're building shelter and then you extrapolate it and you get into the modern day and age and now we have electricity cars airplanes internet and whatnot we are very different a very different animal and therefore my mind state as a vegan was that often transhumanist when i looked at nature i saw the flaw and i saw that potential in us to change everything around us because it's false because it's dirty because we do not belong there i saw us as some sort of gods in animal bodies and in many ways i still do i saw us as gods that can transcend the dirty filthy animal body in many ways i thought that's our mission in many ways i thought that only through transhumanism we can escape that vicious cycle and hey who knows maybe we can maybe we will maybe it is the biggest conspiracy of them all maybe not who knows point of the story is that as a vegan i'm trying to limit myself onto that topic and not dive deeper into transhumanism as a vegan i saw that intrinsic flaw i saw that we have that possibility and in many ways the responsibility to change our surroundings and then ultimately to change ourselves i saw flaw in the creation of men i saw limitation and in many ways i thought that that limitation has been created on purpose who our creator is or who our creators are is up for you to decide but for me it seemed as if we've been created with flaws on purpose so we will strive to change we will embrace change we will feel uncomfortable and with that uncomfort 
we will strive to change first our environment and then ultimately ourselves. This is how I saw it as a V. And therefore, when somebody told me, yeah, but what you are eating is unnatural, I couldn't care less. And guys, the reason why I share this with you is for people that are in the carnivore community, omnivores, whatever, to understand the vegans and to understand that your argument won't be fruitful. Your argument won't reach those ears. Vegans truly believe that we evolved out of the dirt, so to speak. We came from the bushes, from dirt, from cavemans, and then we evolved and went further through the dark ages, medieval times. All of that is in the past now, right? And now we are in the modern day and age, the age of information. And right now, right here, we can make new decisions of walking to the supermarket. We can grab tofu instead of meat. And I understand that point. If you limit your perspective onto the modern day environment and all you see is the supermarket in your mega city, then of course you will feel that way. And of course, under that circumstance, you will say it is more ethical to grab the tofu, to grab the mock meat instead of the real meat. The issue with vegans is that we, and I'm talking about we now because I'm still in my vegan persona here, I'm trying to think as my past self, we thought that as everything else in life, we are evolving as well, right? Somehow our bodies will adapt as well. As a vegan, I didn't take into consideration that there is biological limitation to our gut system, so on and so forth. So therefore, all I saw is that we have the possibility. Simply put, just like any other technology, I have the possibility to use this camera. I have the possibility to upload it on the internet. I have the possibility to wash my hands with warm water instead of going down to the river. I have all of those possibilities and therefore I will choose to use them. So why would I be ignorant, so to speak, and not use the technological advancement in nutrition, in food? Right? I have that option. Why wouldn't I? And if you have that perspective, you cannot listen to any carnivore telling you, but it's unnatural. You don't give a shit about natural or unnatural. Because you see that many things in nature are flawed already. And I understand it. So therefore, you pick and choose the things that you enjoy about nature and you discard the ones that you don't like. And let's be honest, in many ways, as carnivores, you do the same, right? You go still to the supermarket. I know not everybody. Some go to farms, some are hunters, some are butchers themselves. But many carnivores go to the supermarket, right? And they just pick the meat instead of the mock meat. And that's as natural as it gets. Those people still don't embrace nature with all their upsides and all their downsides. Me personally, as a fruitarian back in the day, I went to the jungle and I was sleeping in a tent. I was washing myself in the river. I was shitting in the bushes. I was living off the coconuts down there. Yes, that is the truth. It was an extended fast, of course, but I embraced nature for what it is and I saw how it truly is. I saw the darkness. I saw the thunderstorms in the Amazon jungle at night. It was scary as. Yes. I did all that and I understood for myself that I really do not want to live in nature. I do not want to go backwards. Quite the opposite. I embrace technology with everything that goes along with it. Of course, there are very, very dangerous implications of technology. I try to stay away from social media as much as possible, honestly. But there are so many benefits to it that are very alluring. Again, everything will come with a downside. Nothing comes only with a net positive. It's impossible in this life. It is a duality after all. But again, without rambling on for too long, as a vegan, I only want to see the technological advancement. I only want to embrace the positivity that came with technological advancement. I ignored all the downsides of it. And I ignored our natural food, so to speak. In many ways, 
I was even secretly hoping for lab-grown meat. If you look back into my videos, I'm not deleting anything, you can check that I was somewhat intrigued by lab-grown meat. Not fully sold, not fully convinced, but intrigued, for sure. You have to understand that I came from a bodybuilding background and as a bodybuilder I supplemented a ton. So therefore, whey protein gave me benefits, right? This is how I saw it. I'm like, yeah, sure. Whey protein is not something that we evolved to eat. It is not an ancient food, but we ate it. No worries, it was beneficial. And I thought the same about the vegan foods. I really thought that if I eat mock meats, I get rid of the bad cholesterol, I get rid of the karmic baggage, if you will, and I eat a clean protein source, all I need. We achieved the status of isolating amino acids, of isolating certain proteins, and with that we can live that transhuman lifestyle. This is how I saw it, guys. So why do I share this video? Guys, I share this video with you because I want to connect the people, honestly. As I said many, many times before, yes, it is a duality. And yes, we need both fronts. And yes, we need division to an extent. We need division so we understand what unity truly is. It is a division after all. But I am over it. It is time to progress. I'm not going to join the money grab. And this is one of the reasons why I do not respond to many vegans that did videos about me. There are many videos about me on the internet. And people talk shit. But I'm not gonna put their name into my YouTube titles or descriptions any longer. I do not want to promote that division and I do not want to promote their mediocre channels either. I want to move on. We have to understand what we as humans need to do. And it is complicated and I get that. We all have flawed perspectives. I'm not coming to you with a complete understanding of life. I am God, listen to me, right? It's bullshit. We are all just little humans trying to figure shit out. It is what it is. And we can all find comfort in certain ideologies. For one it can be veganism, for another it can be religion, for another one it can be sport. Whatever works for you. And therefore we will have to understand what truly works for us with no dogma, with no belief system, with no label. And this is what this channel is about. This is why I open up that discussion. I want to be transparent with you guys. I want to explain and share how I saw the world as a vegan. How I saw meat as a vegan. If you find this video interesting, let me know in the comment section down below and I will further explain my perspective as a past vegan. I will explain why I chose veganism to begin with and why I quit veganism ultimately. People, I really think it is necessary to open up that dialogue. But to open it up truly, I'm not here on YouTube to waste my time and talk to ideologues. I'm over it, guys. I'm not going to sit here and debate how great or bad veganism is. I couldn't care less, man. It is pretty blatantly obvious once you reach that realization, you will see that veganism is destructive. Now we have to understand why we are drawn to it. Now we will have to understand why we are drawn to technology. Now we will have to understand why we have certain predispositions and certain dislikes as humans. Why we perceive gore as bad. Why we perceive suffering at all. All of those topics are an interest of mine and I want to enhance this perspective and move further. So guys, the video is long enough. I'm going to cut it off here. I barely scratched the surface. I'm going to continue this talk. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, as I said in the beginning, if you want to support Bobby's perspective, just go through our Amazon portal. It doesn't cost you anything, honestly. You can just go through that link, buy whatever you like, and the channel gets a small cut. No extra cost for you. It is highly appreciated. On top of that, I just opened up a Fiverr service. You can purchase thumbnails and I will offer video editing services as well. All right, guys, but this is for today. As always, much love and peace.